Hi everybody, this is uh, Nick. Welcome back to a, another video. If you've been one of my uh, subscribers for the large number of folks who have recently subscribed, uh, thank you guys for, for coming. And um, in this video, I'm gonna be talking about a couple different things. Um, the LPI class that I'm doing, friends and family class, uh, that is sort of my 500 subscriber giveaway, uh, as well as another giveaway for uh, my 1,000 subscriber um, uh, kind of milestone, which uh, I just got uh, yesterday. And then to kind of just give a, an overview of what's going on with the channel, kind of what this channel is about and uh, what you can kind of expect to it for the folks who are new to the channel. Um, so again, thank you guys for, for joining. Uh, I appreciate you. Uh, hopefully you'll, you'll get something out of the channel. So the, the first thing to talk about is the, uh, the sort of the, the giveaways, right? So let's, uh, let's go over the 500 uh, subscriber giveaway, which a lot of you guys are probably familiar with already. Um, and for the folks who are new to this, you kind of get just sort of a bonus, um, kind of double giveaway kind of uh, because of the logistics. So uh, the friends and family class is something I decided to go do for the 500 subscriber milestone. So what this is, is it's an LPI Linux Essentials class, which is a, a great introductory to Linux uh, class that also has a LPI certification. So um, if I go ahead and bring this up uh, in a, uh, a browser, let me go ahead and do this over here. Uh, I'll just switch the monitor over. So if you go to lpi.org, um, you go ahead and see that this is the Linux Professional Institute. Um, and I think the Linux Professional Institute is, is one of the, the better general purpose certifications that you can go get for, uh, for Linux. Um, so there's a number of certifications. Uh, the one for this class is the LPI Linux Essentials, which is the initial um, sort of LPI certification. So you can go ahead and take a look at the, the overview and the objectives and all that kind of stuff. Um, and you can see that there is a, a certification that you can go ahead and take a test that you can go take for this. Um, so the idea is that I'm going to be offering a dramatically reduced class uh, in terms of price, right? So um, normally this is a, you know, a, a fairly expensive class as all um, tech classes generally are uh, when you have an instructor um, because you need to pay for the instructor time. Um, you know, all the resources that it takes to go put the class together. This class is a class that I wrote my, myself, um, and it's gonna have online labs that you guys have access to as well. So the friends and family price, which is not gonna be offered again, right? This is, um, you know, I mean, I'm, I might in some point in the future do something similar to this, but this is not gonna be the standard price for this. Uh, it's gonna be $350. Right, so that's a, a very, 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 very discounted price. Um, so uh, yeah, that's the, that's the game plan. So the way that I'm going to do this class uh, is a little bit different than how I would normally teach the class, uh, and that's for two reasons. Uh, one, generally the way that I work uh, is that I, I contract with companies. They'll go into a company or a government agency or whatever it is, uh, and I'll teach a, either an on-site class there uh, or I will do an online class. So it's it's generally through the company. If your employer is going to pay for this, you do not qualify, right? So this is only for individuals, right? So that's 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 one of the disqualifiers. And this is all on our system. So you know uh, this is this is me trying to do something nice for the people who have subscribed to this channel, especially the folks that were there really early on. Uh, when I first started this and we're, we're so nice and encouraging. So it's going to be $350. And the way that I'm going to do this in a way that will make sense uh, for me, uh, as well as uh, for, I think, a lot of you guys, is to sort of break the, the class up into two sections. So it's normally a, a four to four and a half day class. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to do all of the lecture um, over two days. Uh, I'm going to do this on a weekend, so a Saturday and a Sunday. And 
what I'll do is I will make online labs available for the following week, right? So the dates for this uh, are going to be uh, on the, um, the 17th and the 18th of August. So this is August 2019. If you're watching this video after this date, um, yeah, unless you have a time machine, not for you. So this is going to be for the 17th uh, and the 18th, which is a Saturday and a Sunday. Uh, and then you will have lab access uh, from the 19th to, um, I'll say the 25th. I'll give you guys an, actually the, the, the next weekend to go do the classes. And um, I'm not going to be necessarily available the entire time after the class during the weekdays, uh, but I will be able to, to check email and, and things like that. So. Uh, I'll try to make myself available to some extent uh, in order to go ahead and help you with, um, you know, doing the, doing the lab. So this, uh, this certification class uh, is not going to be something that's appropriate for everyone. Um, I think this is going to be primarily useful for folks who are uh, either new to the tech industry, uh, people who are coming out of high school, uh, people who are coming out of college, uh, people who are coming out of the, the military, uh, people with a background in maybe more of the networking side of things, uh, more of the, the Windows administration side of things, uh, or maybe a programming background. Um, so this is going to be sort of a foundational Linux certification. And the idea is that once you go finish up this, this class, you'll be able to go use a Linux system um, and, and do so very capably. Um, so we're going to talk about uh, shell scripting a lot. That's really how I've kind of tweaked this class. Um, so, um, yeah, the, 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 basically the, I'm, I'm sort of offering it, we're sort of debating the titles now, uh, but it's LPI Linux Essentials is the certification that this is gamed for. The one that I wrote, uh, I'm thinking about calling uh, zero to scripting in, in four and a half days. Um, and the, the idea is that a running theme through the course is building more and more shell scripting stuff uh, so that you can go ahead and do automation and, and things like that. Uh, and be able to, to use a, a modern you know, Linux or Unix system uh, as a, a power user. And the nice thing about this is, is that if you wanted to go follow this up with the LPI level one certification, which is an administration class, I don't currently offer that. Um, I will in the, the future most likely, um, but it's a very small jump uh, from one to the other. Basically the only thing that you need to, to learn is services um, and a, a little bit more on that stuff. And I do kind of include that in the, in the class a little bit. So I think it's a, it's a pretty good entry level certification for a lot of people. If you already have like a Red Hat cert, if you have uh, like a SUSE cert, if you've got um, one of the higher, you know, LPI certs, things like that, probably not for you, right? So I just want to make sure that the people who are, are, are you know, going to pay for this class are going to be the appropriate people. I don't want to, you know, sort of just sell this to, to anybody. This is, that's not what this is about. This is a thank you class. Um, so, um, you know, I don't want anybody to be sort of bitter about it. So the way that you can go ahead and sign up for this uh, is to send me an email uh, confirming that you will be available. Um, and there's going to be some restrictions. Again, one, your company can't pay for it. This is only for individuals. Um, and then secondly, um, if we do not get enough students to, to run the class, uh, we won't do it. I think we're going to say a minimum of four people, which I think is pretty reasonable. Um, and we'll have a maximum of 16. Right. Uh, Any time you get a class that's more than 16 people, it's just too much uh, to, uh, to to sort of really give people individual attention and sort of answer questions and things like that. So we'll cap it at about 16 people. And um, yeah, um, so send an email to the, um, the email address in the description of this video, uh, and you can go ahead and sign up for that. And then what I will do is probably on the, uh, the 10th, um, is I will ask you guys to submit payment via via PayPal, um, and then we can you know basically once we've we've gotten the, the payment from everybody, um, you know we'll we'll you know send out the the email saying that this is this is going to definitely run, um, and we'll we'll be good to go. Uh, so hopefully you guys can join that. Um, hopefully it'll be a value to you guys, and um, you know you'll get some some time with me. It's going to be a lot of lecture, right? So you know. Um, Gird your loins for that, right? Be ready for, for getting a lot of lecture on that one. 
Um, so the second thing is also a giveaway, which is going to be uh, in the thank you for everybody subscribing and hitting the 1,000 uh, user, or not user, subscriber milestone. Uh, I'm going to give away a Raspberry Pi 4. Um, so I've done kind of giveaways like this in the past. Uh, I was initially not very smart about how to, how to do them, uh, and I just gave things away uh, as a thank you, and then uh, it was pointed out to me <laughs> that I should be doing this for, um, you know, also as an incentive to get more subscribers. Um, so um, the way that we'll do the, the, the you know, the, um, uh, the contest, I guess, no, no, I want to use contest, the giveaway, um, is um, if you put a, um, a link to one of my videos or my channel on uh, Twitter, uh, Reddit, Facebook, any kind of social media site, um, and then send me a screenshot or a link to that post, um, I will uh, uh, basically you know, put you in the running. And then at the end of the month, at the end of August, uh, we will we'll do a, um, you know, a, a sort of drawing, just a random drawing. Uh, of the, the people who entered, and um, that'll be it. Um, and, you know, given that the, the, <laughs> the channel only has like a thousand people on it, uh, maybe a little bit over than that, and I'm guessing from previous uh, giveaways, um, very, very, very small numbers of you guys will uh, decide to enter the contest. Uh, you've got a really good chance of, of winning. I think the, the last time we ran this was a one in four uh, chance because there's only four people that signed up for it. Um, and uh, generally what I do with those is if you're in the continental US, um, I will, I'll ship a uh, Raspberry Pi to you, um, you know, uh, via like Amazon or, or whatever it is. Um, and then if you are uh, overseas, if you're somewhere for that's expensive for me to ship to, uh, I will talk about the logistics with you uh, individually and we can figure out the best way to uh, to get you either the Raspberry Pi by buying it through a local website in your country, um, or if that is prohibitive, um, what I can go ahead and do, and I did this once before with a, a previous winner who is from, from Pakistan, um, is that we'll figure out some way of getting you the money to, to do it. So, um, for example, we'll go on uh, you know, PayPal or something like that and just send you um, the, the, the money directly, or we can send it via Bitcoin or whatever, whatever is the, the easiest way to to do that for, for you is, and then you can just go buy it. Um, so, and you know, on our system, cross your fingers that you'll get a Raspberry Pi because that's, that's sort of what the uh, intention is, is I want you guys to go out there and do Linuxy stuff and, and <laughs> experiment and play around and, and all that kind of stuff. Um, or if, if you have something else that's sort of, you know, equivalent in price um, that you would prefer instead. So I, I mentioned the, the, the ham radio thing. So if you want like a, you know, a Baofeng, yeah, you know, UDB five R or something like that. You know, we can we can talk about that. So something in that that ballpark. Um, so yeah, so that's the the basic idea. Um, so those are the two giveaways. Uh, and again, for that one, you know, um, link on a social media site, Twitter, you know, whatever you want to go use, um, and then just send me a, a screenshot in the email uh, again in the description of this video, uh, and that will be uh, that'll be cool. So. The next little bit that I want to talk about is just to, to say thank you to uh, DT from, from DistroTube uh, for giving me a shout out uh, in one of his recent videos. So uh, that's basically the reason why I got so many subscribers. It was, it was, kind, of, um, <laughs> it was kind of a weird experience. I thought that I, I, I was sort of getting a bunch of spam or something like that initially because I, I looked at my phone and I was getting all these YouTube notifications like lots like hundreds of youtube notifications and i was like what is going on with this uh, i couldn't figure out what the heck it was uh, and i'm subscribed to to distrotube so when I, I pulled up youtube a little bit later on to just go check out videos uh, i saw that he had uh, a video on uh, you know youtube channels that you should check out uh, and that i was lucky enough to be one of the the people mentioned um, and that took me from i think probably either very close to 700 or just over 700 subscribers to uh, around uh, 1,100 subscribers as of the last time that I checked. So did a substantial bit to increasing my subscriber count. So, um, you know, DT, I know you watch some of my videos occasionally. So thank you so much. I, I really appreciate that. Um, made a 
really big difference and actually sort of came at a, a really good time. Um, I've been not seeing comments on, on a lot of my videos recently. And uh, I sort of was getting, you know, to the point where I was feeling like I was just kind of talking into the, the void. And I didn't really know if I was helping people or not. So getting the, the shout out and the, um, you know, the, the giant bump in subscribers was, uh, was really a great morale booster uh, for me. So thank you so much for that. That's, 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 that's very cool. You, man, I, I, you know, appreciate it. So yeah, I thought I should do a sort of a, a quick little, um, uh, kind of talk about what the, what the channel is about, um, for folks who are, are kind of new to the channel. So for you guys who have been on the channel, you know, since the beginning, you, you kind of know what the deal is. Um, but for you guys who are new to the channel, I'll give you sort of a rundown on, on what this channel is about, why I started it, what it's for. Um, so this is not just a Linux channel, right? So the idea is I, I'm going to talk about Linux um, probably quite a bit. Uh, but the idea is, is that I created this channel to, um, to help people who are, are new in, in tech. Um, you know, it's, um, it, it's something that people did for me when I was younger. Um, I, I had some, some wonderful mentors, um, and I was, I was very, very, very lucky, um, in terms of both when I was starting, um, in my career, the timing of it, um, was just wonderfully right into the sort of the dot-com boom. And then, uh, the fact that I had a, a large number of people who were giving me an, an exorbitant amount of their time, uh, to, to help me. Uh, in, in a way that is, is kind of nuts. Um, so uh, I'm, I'm, a lot of this is sort of paying that back. Um, I, I feel like I, I have an obligation to, to sort of pay that, f not pay that forward, but pay that back um, to, to the people who helped me. Um, so one of the things I would suggest is I saw a couple comments from people who are new to the channel who have a very strong tech background. Um, there is a subreddit over on reddit.com called IT Career Advice. And uh, I would like to encourage you guys who have a lot of experience in the, the field, uh, either in programming or uh, ops in general or networking uh, or um, site reliability engineering kind of stuff, whatever it is, right? whatever your sort of area of focus of uh, in, in tech, um, jump over there and, and see if we can answer some questions for folks. I think it's, it's a really good thing to do with your, with your time. It only takes a couple minutes and sometimes a very small amount of advice that you give could go a really long way to somebody who's, who's new to this. So um, for those of you guys who are more experienced, who have a, a background in tech, um, I'd encourage you guys to go do that. Uh, for the rest of you guys who are, are kind of the target audience for this, uh, which is people who are looking to get into the technology career field, um, who are in it but are early in their career or maybe up to their sort of mid-level career. Um, this channel is basically uh, a place where I can help you guys out. That's that's the goal for it. Um, and if you go back and look at some of the, the earlier videos, um, I will do things like uh, answer specific questions for individual users. Um, I will... Um, um, sort of do things like resume reviews, um, if it's, you know, seems like a, a good candidate for it. Um, I will try to help people with questions on where they should go with their career, what their options are, things like that. So to that end, if you have a question, if you have something that you would like some help with, feel free to reach out. My contact information, as I mentioned before, uh, is down below in the, the description of this video. So please feel free to take advantage of that, um, especially given that, you know, this, uh, this channel has been growing pretty quickly, even, even before the big uh, DT bump up, uh, up past uh, 1,000 users. So at some point, it, it may get too large for me to go do that kind of individual level um, of, you know, sort of videos. Um, so if you have questions or things like that that you'd like me to, to answer, um, you know, please feel free to, to, to reach out. I'm, I'm happy to go do that. So the, uh, the other things is sort of just kind of giving you guys an idea of, of what my background is. Cause a, a lot of you folks who are near the channel probably don't, don't know. Um, so, uh, I'm Nick, obviously <laughs> I think I said that in the beginning of the video. I hope I did. Um, so I've been, uh, working in it, 
since I was about 19. I started with, with Unix when I was about 15 years old. Um, and, um, you know, started doing code when I was a, when I was a kid using uh, Pascal initially. Um, did a, <laughs> a little bit of assembly, but I, I, I you know, um, I, I couldn't spot an XOR at this point uh, in assembly if uh, <laughs> it jumped out and bit me. It's been a long time. Um, I wrote C and C++ stuff in, in high school um, and uh, continue with C and C++ to the, this day a little bit. Um, I still play with some, some Arduino and electronics microcontroller stuff and, and I'll do a lot of that in C. Um, but my primary program language has been um, shell scripting, uh, Perl, uh, PHP, uh, now Python. Um, I'm doing a lot more stuff in and the, the .NET languages. So I've got a decent bit of, of experience on the programming side. Um, uh, but mainly have worked in sort of um, <clears throat> kind of higher level Unix E positions. And, and I sort of mean like a traditional uh, kind of Unix position that um, nowadays is sort of looked on more like a site reliability engineering kind of position. So uh, basically all of my jobs when I was, I was kind of on the, the IT side of the house would be focused on, in a lot of ways on, on Unix, but mainly with, with Unix just sort of a platform to do other stuff. Um, so it was uh, automating uh, service updates, uh, automating deployments, um, writing, you know, monitoring plugins, um, managing monitoring environments, uh, writing utilities to go ahead and manage routers and switches and things like that. Um, <clears throat> and I've done that in a, in a number of different places. Um, so I've had, you know, my traditional Unix jobs. I did consulting early on in my career. Um, that, was, that was actually one of my first jobs and something I, I, I can't recommend strongly enough uh, for, for people who are new to the tech industry. We'll talk about that in another video at some point. And at this point, <clears throat> I'm in a very privileged position, really. I've, I've been very, very fortunate in my career um, through some fault of my own, but a lot of it was just timing and luck where um, <clears throat> I'm, I'm not retired by any means, um, but I basically only work about two weeks a month now. This, this, I think the next two months, I've got basically almost the entirety of it off, which is, which is fantastic because it's summer. My, uh, <coughs> excuse me, my niece is coming out to visit and I'm working on my boat, and, you know, a million projects on that side. So, um, so yeah, so I'm, I'm very, very, very lucky in, in the position that I've been in where uh, I came up through the, the ranks. Um, I was uh, very fortunate to be at a company that was um, a small startup. And we got acquired by Microsoft, uh, which is how I own a house in Los Angeles. <laughs> so I do have some criticism for Microsoft, uh, but they will, they will always get a little bit of a pass from me because um, they uh, <laughs> more or less bought me a house, uh, which, is, which is nice. Um, and... Um, after working there, um, I basically took a, a, a role where I was doing a lot of um, technical instruction stuff. Uh, I mainly work through a, a company called Fastlane, uh, but I also work through another company called uh, Vertical Sysadmin, and I do uh, teaching and consulting uh, on my own. And um, yeah, because of that, I've got to, to go in and work at a lot of really interesting companies. So... Uh, this is the part that I always get a little bit awkward about. I actually, <laughs> I, I had to re-record this this uh, this video because I I got like really uncomfortable. I'm from New England, and um, there's basically two kind of New Englanders. There's there's very braggadocious uh, kind of New Englanders, and there's there's some folks like myself who are, like feel very awkward about anything that would sort of seem like bragging. Um, so. <laughs> So yeah, I always feel really uncomfortable about this, but I, I've had to get used to it just sort of as an instructor. Um, so I've been very fortunate to uh, do work uh, with, uh, with Apple, uh, with, uh, with Google, uh, with Microsoft, obviously. I was a full-time engineer there. Um, with uh, Qualcomm, with NASA, um, with uh, the U.S. Air Force, U.S. Army, uh, State Department, uh, U.S. Aid, um, SpaceX, um, just a, you know, a lot of really big name companies. I'm, I'm leaving a huge amount off. SAP, uh, Oracle, <laughs> there's tons. I've, I've, 
um, I've been incredibly lucky to to be able to go in and either do uh, training or consulting um, at um, at these companies. And because of that, it's given me a lot of really great exposure to how people do things. Um, so even if it's something that I haven't worked on directly myself, um, it's it's a lot of times something that I've, I've been exposed to or I've had conversations with, um, you know, and it's it's just a fantastic opportunity for me, which is one of the reasons why um, I, I, I haven't gotten on my boat and, and sort of shipped off and gone sailing down to Mexico and <laughs> sort of soft retired yet. Um, it's because I, I, I really actively love um, kind of these uh, these puzzles and, and kind of fun stuff that I get to, to kind of play around with. It's 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 really neat to to be around smart people. And um, yeah, anyway, I'm I'm getting off track. But the idea is that you know, despite the fact that I'm I'm not you know completely gray beard yet, I'm still you know <laughs> starting. Um, but I've been doing this stuff for a long time. I've been doing this stuff since I was 19, which means I've been working in tech for for over 20 years. Um, and uh, I don't make any claims that I'm, I'm an expert in everything or that I'm the smartest person in the world, but I've, I've been exposed to a lot of stuff. So my hope is, is that I can take that background, I can take that experience, and I can couple that with questions that you guys have um, and hopefully help you uh, avoid some of the pitfalls that I had when I was first starting off in the career uh, or that I've seen other people make. Um, so, you know, um, I hope this is useful for you guys. Uh, I, I appreciate you subscribing to my channel for, for you folks who are new to this. Uh, I hope that I will justify you guys staying subscribed. And um, if you know anybody else who is, you know, newer in the tech industry who thinks that this might be useful for them, uh, feel free to send them, them my way, um, either via this, uh, this YouTube channel or you can, you know, send them to, you know, one of my classes um, which again are, are down in the description below. Um, you know, there's a, a bunch of ways that you can, you can, I, I teach, uh, uh, classes for Sousa. Um, I very occasionally will teach classes for, for Canonical who make uh, Ubuntu. Um, I teach classes for, for NetApp. Um, and then I'm, I'm kind of finalizing some stuff to teach, uh, Google cloud platform, um, and some of those kind of things. So, uh, a bunch of different kind of things that you can you can check out if you're uh, if you're interested so anyway thank you guys so much for watching um thank you again dt for the for the shout out um and uh congratulations to all of the other uh folks who got shout outs there as well i i, <laughs> I know they've, they've all sort of seen a, a a bump in subscribers so um, i'm sure that a lot of folks are, are very happy with uh, with dt uh, at the moment so anyway thank you guys so much for watching and have a great rest of your weekend